Okay, thanks. <laughs> um, quick question. How much of this, how many of the stories were based on real stories of people that you knew personally and how much of it was fiction? So it started out, um, it was inspired by people I knew or just my imagination. But then when I got to know people, like for example, Gil here, and I, he told me a story and I found out more and more, then I thought we could turn this into a combination of, like you had your character initially, right, Levi, but then we built, we made them at least semi-autobiographical. So for a good, another good example besides your story would be Andre in uh, New York, so he played the character of Jarrell. And one day I was just interviewing him in the build-up to this and he said, um, he said to me, he we, were talk we were talking about different events and he suddenly said, he was talking about different ones and then he just said, oh, and I was kidnapped as a child and I was put into this and then he carried on and I thought, wait, what did you just say? And I th when I found out what it was, and that's what you've just seen here when we recreated the story with his grandfather and kidnapping and forcing him into child labour, which is very unusual in this era, then, then, I, then I said to him, would you be brave enough to do that? So all these actors were, were incredibly brave because they're tackling traumas from their real life. You know, did you want to say something? Yeah, look, James, when he asked me um, how much of my life am I willing to put into this movie, I said, as much as you want me to. Um, I, I think, you know, it's, it's not about, for me, about being such a brave actor. It's got nothing to do with that. It's about wanting to tell a story. And it just so happens to be that it was my story. And whether or not anyone resonates with that or finds that interesting is up to the audience.